When it comes for building electronic projects, a multimeter is an essential tool to have. It can be useful for measuring voltage, current, resistance, etc. Even sometimes multimeter comes with an advanced features like non-contact voltage detecting and measuring temperature. But the main question is which one to buy? That I will answer today. So why to waste time? Let's go right into the video. Now, the first question is, how much should you spend on the multimeter? My recommendation is to spend anywhere from 13 to 40 dollars or if you can a maximum of 80 dollars. Now don't get me wrong, for some people even 80 dollars or 40 dollars is too much. But trust me, it would be worthy. Some multimeter cost as low as 2 dollars. But I don't recommend them. They are totally scrap. They don't last very long. Now, take an example, if you are measuring mains voltage, but accidentally you kept on amps, but then no surprise, it will explode in your hand, because it has no safety and there is no fuses in this multimeter. So this multimeter is totally a scrap. And there is a multimeter like this, which costs around 10 dollars. It's okay, but I don't recommend to a beginner because it has the same issue like that multimeter. It has no safety and no fuses on it. Now, if you take a look something like this. This multimeter has inbuilt two ceramic fuses. One for the voltage, resistance, etc. and another for current measurement. Now, you might say ceramic fuses are so expensive and much rare to buy, but not here. You can directly email to the Miko company and tell the issue so they can provide you the ceramic fuses. There is another advantage in this multimeter is that they give the certificate of calibration and it has a stand and they provide two AA batteries. The main two features in this multimeter is that it has two RMS in AC and DC both. It will show correct and high accuracy in AC and DC and the another advantage is it has an inbuilt temperature measurement. In many cases, you would be making refrigerator, cooler, heater, etc. To measure the temperature, you would take this type of thermometer. But the accuracy is not much. In this multimeter, it gives an amazing accuracy of temperature. And the quality of this multimeter is at the high level. Now, some higher multimeter company made by Fluke cost around 200 to 400 dollars but it's definitely not ideal for a beginner i am using a multimeter made by miko it cost me around 40 dollars now if you are getting one i would definitely recommend you to buy something like this i will make a special video on this multimeter so if you want to watch that video please subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon that you get notified whenever i post new videos and the another most asked question is that which one to buy auto range or a manual range the answer is simple buy a auto range multimeter it is much easier to use manual range multimeter it has a bunch of pattern in this multimeter and it is painful to set the value and in the auto range multimeter, you just need to set the quantity you need and it will do all the things required. So the auto range multimeter is worthy. That's it for today's video guys. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Also press the bell icon there to get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay safe, stay creative. See you all soon.